Welcome to China and welcome to Chu Chu. I think that's the right pronunciation. Today I will drive this autonomous bus in the city streets or I will not drive them, I will be a passenger on it. I'm very excited, join me for this. I am in China and I will now go out on the roads with a full 12 meter sized Yutong bus and this is fully autonomous and we will now check this out in a regular city traffic street. I'm really really excited to see how this feels and works. And this is the first autonomous project in China so this is very very exciting and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I promise you to show you some great photos there as well of the buses. I would sit here, but not today. That man is actually the driver. So the bus is going to the station to pick up not the passenger, but the driver. <laughs> okay, let's start our journey today. So then we have a driver, that's good. Good morning, everyone. And this bus is going to drive into the Longhu Financial Island. Uh, this island is our first, uh, it's also the first autonomous driving uh, project in China. And this journey takes about 15 minutes. Everyone, please, stay, please sit still. Currently, there are five levels of autonomous driving skills. Uh, this one is level in level three, which can do the super cruise, uh, Autonomous obstacle avoidance and road and vehicle signal priority function and this function is very is amazing and will be shown later and let me give an introduction about this vehicle this one we Yutong call the Black King Kong it is a 12 meters pure electric bus with a range of 350 kilogram uh, sorry kilometers as you see the screen. Uh, the driver's hand is on his knee. It's, it's not on the steering wheel. Okay, so next I'll talk talk about the three screens. And for the middle left screen, this one is uh, the AR AR interactive screen, which you can see it it shows some general elements. For example, the speed, and now we see AI, which means auto, uh, automatic driving. And the screen on the right, we, it is what the vehicle see the road. Like this one is what the road in our eye, and this one is what the road in vehicle's eye. If there is a vehicle in in front of us, it it will be showed on the uh, on the front. It automatically entry the station point because the passenger flow on and flow out. Uh, they are not fixed to protect the passenger safe. We still need to manually open and close the door. But there is almost a meter from the bus to the actual footpath when you stop the bus. So I'm not impressed of how far away from the bus they are stopping or from the edge. <laughs> so that can be improved so far. And now I will give a brief introduction of the, this island. This one is Longhu Financial Island. It's, yeah, you know, it's called Financial Island because it's, that's, that's almost the future of Zhengzhou. Like, for example, there, there is Chartered Bank, HSBC. Uh, the most powerful uh, financial agency will be, will be here. And also this one. I need to emphasize this one is also the first uh, autonomous driving experience based in China. Even oh. Oh. That was a quick stop. So now we're coming back to the depot. Yeah. Smooth ride. Except the one very hard break. Distinguished guests, now let's come into the MN station control center. So now it's time to take a look at the self-parking part of this bus depot. And I'm excited to see how well it will just fit into the track. Everything is done with so high precision. is done with some sensors and some high-definition cameras so the bus knows exactly where it is with the help of the GPS and the 5G. Wow, 
Uh, first, so firstly, let's have a look at the auto charging. You see, the charging panel is like slowly come, come out, and now it's auto charging. But also, this vehicle has a plug-in uh, charging option. So now we are done here with the first autonomous test drive project in China ever. And I think this seems very promising, but there is only level three of autonomous driving in these buses. So I really hope that we can see even level four in the full-size buses very soon. We did have a very hard breakdown. It was a bug or something coming into the sensor, and that made a whole bus to make a complete full stop. And other than that, I think this is very promising technology. You know, many of the accidents actually happen on the depot. And now you have the autonomous driving into the parking spots, so you will eliminate the possibility of getting damaged. They also out of charge and everything is just parking itself. And the bus even goes to pick up the driver. <laughs> I really like that system. So now, um, thank you so much for watching the video. And if you like what you see, click down here. The button is called subscribe. And then you will see all the future videos from us here in Bus Magazine. Until next time, drive safely. Have a great day.